Well, hey y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, your hostess, and today, well, I'm going to give you some things that we bought at the Amish community, and then we went up to Yoder's Amish Market uh, up in Paris, Tennessee, and also some friend mail, that, something I won off of the Vineyard Chicks Live the other night, so y'all stay tuned. I'm going to start showing you, um, we bought some bell peppers, aren't they pretty? These are very, very big bell peppers. I'm actually going to make some stuffed bell peppers with these. Uh, they're a really good size, and um, so that's what I'm going to be doing with these one night for our supper. Beautiful, beautiful bell peppers, 50 cents a piece, really 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 inexpensive and we picked up some more vegetables y'all I've got them in here and the largest tomato I have ever seen look at this thing both my hands what kind of tomato is this well it is a called a um, king pink tomato and it's getting a little overripe so I'm going to have to cut it today and let me find a place to set that thing so I can show you the rest of this in here we picked up some um, jalapenos some beautiful jalapenos some of them are turning red and I'm probably going to um, stuff these and make snake bites with them so I've got plenty of those whoops almost lost them I'm not gonna pull everything out of here but we also picked up some of their fresh cucumbers and their fresh squash and it is beautiful y'all just beautiful so we're gonna have some fresh vegetables one night for supper And I also picked up four pints of their canned butter. There's two pints there. And two more pints. Six dollars a pint. Y'all, this is some really, really good butter. It's shelf stable so I don't have to worry about it and I like heaping butter on hand for many many projects that we have in our kitchen now we went up to Yoder's uh, Yoder's is an Amish store it's an Amish country store and I picked up these noodles they are called cartwheels and this is 285 unit price and it was almost a pound for 248 so that's going to get jarred up it's going to be a, a nice change from the regular macaroni pastas that you buy in the store and probably taste a lot better than what we get in the store and i also picked up a bag of their alphabet pastas now, this is little bitty alphabets. I'll try to get it up there so you can kind of see. There's all kinds of alphabets in there. And this was uh, two pounds, and it's $2.69 unit price per pound. We paid $5.46 for this. But this will last us a long time. Every now and then, I want some old fashioned vegetable soup with alphabet noodles. And what a treat this will be for my youngest grandson to get a homemade alphabet soup from his nana or his nanny i also picked up let me get the bag switched around some more wheat berries this is a soft white kernel wheat berry it is non-gmo and this uh, can be ground into flour and it is certified chemical free contains wheat product information materials may change um, it's 3.82 pounds it was a dollar 69 a pound 
So $6.46 on this for the wheat berries. The reason we went to Yoder's was to pick up more of their canning lids. Now these are not the blue canning lids that we've been buying. Uh, apparently they, they have gotten another brand in. But this is 14 and a half dozen regular mouth canning lids for $38.49. And I think this came out to $2.65 a dozen for canning lids, which is a lot cheaper than what you would buy in the stores. And then they had the wide mouths. And the brand on this is Tenno Cap. So this is in the bag, Tenno Cap. This is also 14 and a half dozen. And it was 43 or $45.49. You can barely see the price right there. $45.49. And I'm just going to pull out a couple of these. Um, that's what they look like. And they look like they're good quality. I don't know why they switched brands or if they just couldn't get the good brand that I, I wanted to get. But we will be using these up for sure. And if they carry it, it's got to be a good brand because they, they don't carry things that are cheaply made in that store. So that was our trip to the Amish communities, um, the one in St Stantonville, Tennessee, and the one, the Amish store up in Paris, Tennessee, kind of far apart on the western Tennessee uh, roads, but we went to both of them in one day, was super, super excited to do that. And that tomato is huge, by the way. We also picked up this <laughs> watermelon for $5 at the Amish community. Uh, it's a seedless watermelon and quite, quite weighty, y'all. $5 for that. Watermelons around here are going for about $10 a piece. So we were excited to get it for that price. And we picked up some fresh peaches. And, oh, they smell so good. $5 for that. And I have one more fruit to show you. The last fruit we picked up was a ripe cantaloupe. And y'all, it is smelling so, so good and sweet. So we're going to be eating good around the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch this week. Now this is a prize I won off the Vineyard Chicks live the other night. And I actually won this from Jess and Lisa at Lazy Days Ahead. So we've got the box open. And we're going to look inside. What did I win? Lisa always puts a nice little card in here. Isn't that pretty? Can, howdy, Susan. Congratulations on being a multiple winner. And vanilla to boot from the vineyard give, vineyards giveaway. Enjoy much love, Lisa and Jesse. So thank you very much for the card. And Lisa has enclosed. Oh, I forgot about this one. I also won this. Oh, I think it was Lisa and Jesse's giveaway, or it might have been the vineyard checks. I can't remember, but it is a. Uh, Embroidered flower sack towel in the great state of Texas. And it says, Texas. It's a Texas thing, y'all, on the front. So I'm going to be using that. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Oh, my goodness. Guess what I got? If I can get it open. We've got some of Lisa's jam, y'all. Don't be jelly. This is lime jelly, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I love lime. So there's the lime jelly. We're going to be...
be doing a taste test on these jellies very, very soon with my husband. Let's see what else she put in here. She wraps everything so well. So we know that it's going to get to where it's supposed to. And I got a jar of plum jelly. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Look at the color in that. Where's that other jar? Lime and plum jellies. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Lisa. We like our jelly around here. We don't eat a lot of it, but we do eat some jellies. And I got a used sticker, y'all. <laughs> I had a little trouble getting this out of the bag the last time, but it is their vanilla. So I'll be right back. I'll say winner, winner, chicken dinner, because this is the second bottle that I have been gifted from them. And there's the used sticker, y'all. This is La Vencedora Pure Vanilla. And it is a product of Mexico, I do believe. Yes, a product of Mexico. And valued at $80 a bottle, y'all. So it's very expensive. But if you are interested in this vanilla... And everybody tells me how good it is. Um, you can go to Lisa and Jesse's page and follow the link, and you'll probably see their vanilla on on their little uh, store that they have. And y'all get some of this stuff. Support this channel. They do so much for our community. And there's something else in the box. Oh, yes, prizes that I did win. Now, these I'm pretty sure I won off of Lisa's channel. Lisa and Jesse's. So, it was a home journal. I think I won this one there, too. I couldn't remember. I think I won that on there also. But it's a, uh, a journal, a line journal, and I use these for a lot of things. So, thank you so much for that. It's very pretty, by the way. And... Doctor's Home Remedies. And there's the back. Now, Lisa and Jesse pick books up all the time at, at their local Ollie's. And if you're interested in this book um, or the journals, you can check out your local Ollie's or go online and look for them. But it's got all kinds of things inside the book on how to take care of different pro problems like poison ivy, psoriasis, sunburn. And these are, um, here's one for cough congestion, uh, a, va a vapor rub that you can make. And it's using essential oils, germ fighters. It's got the recipe in there for that. Topical um, remedies, and then it's got dietary, di dietary remedies and so forth in here. So this is going to be a good read for me. This is going to go... Uh, in my medical book library and it will come in handy I could actually put it with my recipes as well so I'm really excited to get these so thank you thank you thank you very much Jess and Lisa at Lazy Days Ahead for your generosity thank you Vineyard Chicks for your live it was beautiful the other night we got to hear them sing live on stage and they were doing a giveaway at the very same time it was a wonderful time of relaxation, and I really enjoyed both. So thank you very, very much for all the goodies in this box. And there's these. And the jellies. I bet you those jellies will be good with that homemade Amish butter, by the way. And La Vincedora Vanilla with a used sticker on the bottle. Thank you very much. And as a little bonus, my husband and I stopped at one of the antique stores up in Paris, Tennessee. And we picked up three oil lamps. Now this one has some hand painting on it. And I will have to check to make sure that I can use these. Um, 
as oil lamps or just as decorative pieces. But uh, this one was $5 and uh, one of them was $10, the other was $5. Let me set this, let me set this down and I'll be right back. This one was also painted and it was $5 as well. It's got pretty little roses on the top. All of them had brand new wicks in them. And I'm being very careful. And then there was this pretty little green one as well. This one was $10. I thought those were really good buys on oil lamps. And y'all, my collection's quite big, but they may be a bartering tool in the future for people that don't have electricity any longer because we don't know where this country's going. I also picked up this. It's a little hot pad and I thought that was just a really interesting stitch. I picked it up mainly for me to learn the stitch because I'd never seen it before. And this was $2.50. or two dollars and fifty cents. $2.50. Get where you can see it. So that is what we did over the weekend. We had a lot of fun. And then we went to see um, Representative David Kustoff at the Kustoff Annual Family Cookout and had a wonderful time, wonderful night meeting. Uh, people in our area that are like-minded and also meeting some of our representatives uh, and congressmen at this event and being able to talk with them and getting to uh, voice our concerns for our nation and for our state. And I left out of there with a very good feeling about where we're going. Uh, the House of Representatives has got a good handle right now on controlling what is coming out of the Senate, the, the Democrat-run Senate, and also the White House. So they're, they're squashing a lot of stuff, and uh, they are doing investigations, y'all. So we, we can um, keep praying and believing in what they're doing up there in Congress. And of course, I, the time I spent with uh, Mr. Kostoff, I told him, I said, we pray daily over our legislators, our congressmen, and our representatives that God would give y'all the wisdom and understanding to navigate these waters. And he was very grateful for that. So y'all, uh, I don't talk openly a lot about the politics except on my lives, but I wanted to share that with you because it was such a wonderful evening um, and it was free to the public uh, all we had to do was RSVP, and we were able to attend that. And I, like I said, I met a lot of great, great people, great constituents um, in the Republican Party, and then other people in the community with concerns like mine. So uh, it was just a really interesting time. And I also met a lot of uh, Democrat crossovers that had left the Democrat Party and become Republicans over all the issues that have come up. And one of the things that stuck out in my mind was they kept saying they couldn't believe how peaceful it was at this event. They had been to Democrat events and it was never peaceful. So they said they could tell that there was a lot of chaos and disagreements going on within the Democrat Party. But the Republicans that were coming to this event, and the conservatives that were coming to this event, were very peaceful and peace-loving. So there was a big difference there. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and may the Lord fully bless you.